Multisig has a very important use, and that is to separate concerns or create separation of concerns or separation of duties in environments where you have multiple independent actors who want to jointly control funds. If you have three executives in a company and you want any two of them to be able to sign or a board of directors with five members and you want any three of them to be able to sign for money, but you don't want one of them to be able to steal everything. That is a good use case for multisig. And you still need to make sure that each and every one of those directors or executives has adequate backups of the seeds that they put together to the multisig. Because if you lose one of the multisig keys, any one of the multisig keys, and you don't have backups of the public keys, you can't reconstruct the multisig. And that is a failure mode that is extremely dangerous. If you don't understand why that's a failure mode, that in itself is an indication that multisig is not for you. But to explain it a bit better, when you create a multisig address, that multisig address is a SHA-256 hash of a script. And that script is something like two of three, public key one, public key two, public key three, check multisig verify. That's what the Bitcoin script that is inside a pay to script address that is a multisig contains. So two of three, so it tells you how many of the public keys need to be exercised. And then it lists all three public keys. That whole script is then hashed. And that hash creates a pay to script hash address, which is where you pay the money. In order to be able to prove that you have two out of the three public keys and produce the three signatures, the two signatures out of the three, you still need to provide the three public keys that went into creating that script. So the way you would sign that is SIG1, SIG2, 2, 3, public key 1, public key 2, public key 3, check SIG verify. And that is what's verified by the Bitcoin network. To put it simply, you only need two signatures, but you still need all three public keys. And if you lose one of the seeds, you've lost the third public key and the hashed address doesn't give you any hint at what it is and you can never spend that money again. So in terms of redundancy, multisig does not create a two of three redundancy. It requires three of three redundancy in order to give you two of three spending authority. And that is very dangerous if you decide to use it for yourself because for yourself, you don't need two of three spending authority. What you need also is two of three redundancy. And if you don't have that, if you lose a single seed, you lost all your money.